This is a first of several videos that will show you how to make a table in HTML and how to style it using CSS. I've created a simple document right here called table.html. I've given it a little bit of styling so we can see what we're doing, but I'll explain this later on. And so let's just go straight into creating the table. The basic parts are the table, the rows, and the columns, or the cells. The table itself is simply the table tag. Table rows are TR. One TR equals one row of the table. Inside a table row, you have cells, which also make columns, and these are TD, which stands for table data. I'm going to put information right here. Uh, of course, I could spell it correctly. There we go. And that basically is your table. I'm going to save that, and we're going to take a look at it in the browser, and there it is. You'll see that is a table of one cell. It has a border for the cell, a border for the table, uh, and that's what it looks like right now. Now you can create more columns by adding more TDs. Now if I go click, 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 and drag down, then I can copy and paste, paste, paste. Now I have three cells, or three columns, and you'll see that those columns will now appear on the web page. One, two, three. Notice they are of equal width. That's because the data in each column is exactly the same. If I make one of them more than the others, and I save that and go back, you'll notice that the column or the cell with the most data stretches out. If you have many rows and therefore many cells, then the longest amount of data in any one cell in that column will set the width of that column. Of course, you can use the CSS in order to, uh, to uh, change the column width to be exactly what you want it to be. All right, so now we have one row with uh, multiple columns. I can then select that one row, copy, and paste, 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 and now I have three rows of information. Here is one row, here is a second row, and below that is the third row. If we go over here and uh, take a look at that in the browser, you'll see now that we have a table with three rows. Now, notice that I've been using the tag TD. There is another tag, TH. TH is for table header. Let me change all of these TDs in the first row to TH and save it. And now you'll see that they look very different. Uh, it, the text in a table header is uh, bold and it is centered. It doesn't have an outline simply because I didn't add the style for an outline for the TH tag. But using the TH tag is good for the top or the farthest left uh, cells in a, uh, in a table so that they can act as headers or titles for each row or column. That's what you would use them for. You could use them on the left as well. That would be the first TD in every row would be the first cell on the left. Uh, but typically they're used at the top. They can be used on the left as well. And that's the very basic information about how to make a table. Uh, in future videos, I will talk about other parts of making a table.